Megan Hicks of I Run Far, and I'm with Mimi Kotka. It's the week of the 2019 Madeira Island Ultra Trail. Good morning, Mimi. Good morning. <laughs> How are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing great. The sun is shining, so... Yeah. Madeira Island is an island that's familiar to you. You just said that your mom used to live and work here? Yes, so my mom was a tour guide here in Madeira in the 70s. Okay. Um, and she actually met my dad when she was home visiting her sister. And they hooked up because he came to visit her here. Okay. And they became a couple here in Madeira. So maybe even the idea of me was born here. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> There's a lot of history of Madeira and Mimi intertwined. Yes. I love this place. So for me, it's always had this. I mean, they have their story around it. So they talked about this place while I, I was growing up. And now that I spend some time here, I really fallen in love with this island too. So. Um, so this is your second time racing the mute on yes. the island, or yes. have you been here also for other races? No, I haven't, but okay. there are some nice races here. There's a sure. lot of races yes. on Madeira yes. now. It's supposed to, be, it's supposed to be really nice, all the races. So let's talk about last year's Madeira Island Ultra Trail. You were here, you yes. won the 115k event last year. What brings you back again? You, you already <laughs> the, did it. The I <laughs> no, but the island brings me back. Okay. And the race, the course. Uh, so, uh, first of all, I love Madeira and Miyut is one of my favorite races. Okay. I have like a bucket list of races that I want to do, but then some are so great, I have to do them twice. Okay. <laughs> or maybe even more. Uh, this is one of them for sure. So that's why I'm here. And you had a just a great performance here last year also you were sort of all by yourself at the front it was that sort of motivation to come back to was that it was such a good race no no no, no. not really it's no. not no no <laughs> uh, because uh, I actually I, I I had some struggle in the middle because okay. we had really bad weather during the night and uh -huh. I got really cold up on the high peaks okay so uh, it wasn't a perfect race in that sense because I I, I was almost yeah, I think uh, I had a I was spot when I was really, really cold. Okay. I was suffering a lot, actually. <laughs> so, no, I'm back because because of the race. It's a, it's a very nice organization around the race, too. And uh, Sidonio, that's the race organizer, mm. he's, uh, yeah, he's a super guy. And, yeah, it's just, yeah. I just like the, like the event. So that's fine. And the course, because it's beautiful and brutal. So let's talk about the course for a minute. We're here at sea level. Yeah. The race starts and finishes at Do sea not level. let sea level fool you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, talk more about that because up high, you know, the island goes up to almost 2,000 meters, like 1,800, 1800 meters. And, yeah, something like that. And so the climate is so different up there. Yes, and it's very exposed because we're in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. So it's like the peaks here are very exposed okay. too. Um, and there's a bunch of steep climbs and steep descents. I think they, the most gnarly descent is taken out this year. Which one was that? Uh, it was from, um, from the, you do the first climb and then you go down for the second one. And it's a very technical climb. Got it. <laughs> and you're going around and down this year as opposed to a straight down? I, I think so. I'm not sure. But, but I, I heard it's gone. The, the like, straight down yeah. stuff. <laughs> so just a little bit less straight down. Yes. <laughs> okay. So your year in running last year, you had a really um, like great first half of yeah. the year, and then the last time we saw you and talked to you was before UTMB, yeah. which didn't work out for no, you. No, it was it was just uh, um, I was uh, blinded by my obsession of the Grand UTMB. I think because it's been like. I started running when Rory Bossio did her best UTMB performances. Okay. And I was just, to me, that that was like a very important part of my running dream. Got to it. see her do such amazing things, uh, finishing seventh overall in UTMB and stuff. Yeah. For me, it changed my my perception of, of what the female athlete can do. So okay. I'm very inspired by that. So I had UTMB as this goal, I want to do it someday. and I. I just, I, I, I said it in an interview before that I think I held on to it so tight, but I was really, I had lots of health problems uh, from from uh, injuries from falling mm. and also from scrambling, uh, scrambling. Okay. And I also had a a, a virus, 
So you well, didn't have anything but, um, going for you that day. No, and I, I mean, you don't listen. I should have listened to my body and to the people around me. Really? <laughs> but I was just, I, no, I was just in, in the nine. And then it was One like a mind. cold, cold shower, uh, some cold water on your head afterwards. And like, what are you doing? This is no, it's okay. not good. Okay. But I mean, it's, yeah. but in a way, it was good because it's sort of. Uh, for me, it took some of the like my, my obsession away. So yeah. I think it's like no, it's it's a rest. It was a little bit like undoing the pressure valve and easing yeah, the gas. Yeah, actually, it was because now it's like well, I realized that I, you can't I, you can't do that. You cannot. Uh, and for me, I haven't been running for so long, and I definitely haven't been an athlete for an athlete <laughs> for so long, and I wasn't really. Um, I also felt that I. I, I I have responsibilities towards like sponsors and to people that follow the sport and to the, I mean, so I, I felt, felt I need to be more honest in the future with myself. But, and now we, so. here Lessons we are, learned. Yeah. here we are at the start of your season in 2019. Yes. How are you feeling? Do you feel like your back can comfortable? Well, so for me, it's always like this because if you're a winter skier, yeah. the spring is like, um, a, s a special time, you never know. Uh. <laughs> How <laughs> it will go? No, because it's just so. This is the this is the first race of the season, and I haven't been running for for that long. So we'll see how it goes. Well, we shall see. Yes, <laughs> we shall see on Sunday. Yes, Sunday at midnight or yes. Saturday at midnight. Yes. Well, let's see how it goes. <laughs> it's going to be fun. Either way, so. What an adventure! Yes. Well, best of luck to you. Thank you. And we'll see you out on the court. Thanks. <laughs>